My name is Seordo Christensen. I'm the PI for the iStop MM study. I'm a professor of hematology at the University of Iceland. Uh, I'm very happy to tell you about our first paper uh, from the iStop MM study. It's Iceland screens, treats, or prevents uh, myeloma. So basically what we did in 2016, we invited all individuals in Iceland, uh, 148,700 people, to join a study for screening uh, for amicus and smoldering myeloma and myeloma. And we received 80,759 informed consent. Uh, which is over 54% of the total population. So the main outcome of the study is, uh, does uh, screening for MCUS lead to an improvement in overall survival? So that's like, should we screen for MCUS like we screen for breast cancer and cervical cancers and some other cancers? Currently, the answer to that question is no, because no one has done a prospective nationwide study like this one. So we want to get the inform information of whether we should screen for AMCUS or not. Also, we want to see if early detection and early intervention is beneficial in AMCUS, smoldering myeloma, and myeloma design and the recruitment strategy, how we were able to get informed consent from more than half of the Icelandic population. So basically what we did is we had uh, the president of Iceland and the former president of Iceland endorsing the study. And the current president was actually the first uh, individual to give informed consent. We also used uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter. And then once we had uh, exhausted those uh, resources, we actually went ahead and called all Icelanders that hadn't given informed consent and told them about the study and asked if, if they wanted to uh, join. Also, we want to see if early detection and early intervention is beneficial in MCUS, smoldering myeloma and myeloma. Now, the field of myeloma is moving towards earlier treatment and there are trials out there that show that it is beneficial to intervene early at the face of smoldering myeloma. So that is indeed one of our main goals, to offer those individuals that are diagnosed within the ISTOP mm screening protocol uh, a chance to enter a clinical treatment trial uh, at the smoldering phase. So we address whether screening for a precursor like MCUS is associated with uh, an increase in anxiety and depression and reduced quality of life. So we asked individuals in the ISTOP MM to answer baseline questionnaires about these issues before we screened them for MCUS, and then at least annually thereafter, and also two weeks after they receive the diagnosis, in order to evaluate the effect of uh, screening and screening positive uh, in uh, this program. So we are gathering enormous amount of data, epidemiological data and biomaterial, that can be used by us and other uh, research groups uh, to answer important questions about uh, AMCUS and myeloma and progression. One example of what we're doing is we are using um, current registries. So there is a patient registry, there's an outpatient registry, there's a registry for from general practitioners. There are all prescriptions uh, uh, used here in Iceland are analyzed and registered in a central registry, we have the cancer registry. And then we have all results from the all hospitals here in Iceland that we are gathering in one a very large database. So we can answer several different questions about MCUS, about risk factors for MCUS and about uh, risk factors for uh, progression. The ISTOP-MM study could not have been done or performed without the generous support from the International Myeloma Foundation and the Black Swan Research Initiative. It gave us a great opportunity to work with the leaders of the, in the field in the International Myeloma Working Group and has provided us with funding to 
perform the base of the iStop MM, the startup and the recruitment, and also provided us with the opportunity to establish the biobank and uh, uh, different aspects of uh, the study.